Hello, my captain, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question at SoulGarden.tv's mothership in the Capricorn viewing room. I'll do my best to shout back or answer one week later. Well, sunny and sentimental is my prediction today for the Capricorns. The moon is still in your opposite sign, Cancer, putting emotional focus on your long-term relationships for a second day in a row. But the good plus of the day is Venus is ruling the day. Venus is the love and creation vibration. So today's an excellent day for romance if you have that opportunity or an excellent day to go out and seek romance. You'll probably be a little extra sparkly in public. So wear your good clothes. Zipping around to the sun, like I said, Venus is ruling the day. We're in chapter one of Sun and Gemini. The topic today is, and this month, your lifestyle. That's your health, how you live in your body. That is your sphere of influence. That is also how you work, how you go to work, etc. Now in chapter one, it's always about what's not working. So when Venus rules the day, the creation vibration, I always recommend that you escape with your imagination. Use that creativity to imagine the perfect commute or imagine the perfect car or imagine even winning the lottery so you could buy your way out of the situation, which is very rare, but it does happen. Now zipping around also to Mars, Mars and Venus are still in Aries where the sun left them behind, but Mars is saying it's time to make some preliminary decisions and act on them in the next couple of days when it comes to your home, your family, your foundation. That's what you were focusing on when the sun was in Mars. So if you've been contemplating refinancing the house or contemplating kicking out a roommate or contemplating adding an addition to the house, anything with your grounding on the earth, it's now time to make that decision and act. You're going to lose that Martian energy in a few days. Then finally to our shout out, it goes to Wanda. One of my favorite soul gardeners at soulgarden.tv and she asked the question, is Pluto in Capricorn bad? Is this negative? Should she worry? You know what? Pluto in Capricorn isn't bad. Pluto isn't bad. The best way to look at Pluto is this. Pluto is like, uh, it's kind of like the fault line, you know, to the seashore. Every now and then Pluto comes up and takes away a little bit of the earth. And then Pluto comes around and takes a little bit more away of the earth. Basically, Pluto is constantly taking away options. So the only time it's bad is when you're a stubborn goat and you insist on standing on top of that mountain and you're going to just stay there as the mountain goes. If you're willing to grow and move forward, all you got to do is stay off the edge of the cliff and everything will be just fine, Wanda. All right, that's all we have for Shout Out Wednesday. See you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So